And tonight's cover story, an online connection leads to a first of its kind commission. Yeah, Chicago area musician is so proud that her next instrument will be crafted by the first known black woman violin maker in the country. And WJN's Gaynor Hall has their story. an attachment to music that is just kind of built into my genetic coding. For Ann Harris, it started when she was three years old. My mother took me to, and my sister to see the movie version of Fiddler on the Roof on a big screen. I was like, Mommy, that's what I want to do, that's what I want to do. And I, I just wouldn't shut up about it, apparently. And so several years later, she got me lessons. She got me a teacher. And I was still in love and enraptured with the, the sound that comes out of that box of wood. <laughs> Anne and her melodious box of wood have graced countless stages and studios. To me, the violin is a conduit uh, to a very spiritual place. And she's been playing this same violin, a gift from her parents, for her entire career. I had been looking to get a new instrument for a couple of years. During the pandemic pause, she was Instagram scrolling and came across an image that changed everything. It was the image of seeing a black woman violin maker holding her instrument with her confidence and her beauty and, and somebody that could be me. And it was just this, I was just overcome with emotion. Um, A, for the fact that I'd never seen that before. B, for the fact that I never ever considered the hands that would go into making my instrument and that I could have an instrument made by hands that were similar to mine. The violin maker is Nashville based Amanda Ewing, who's been on a journey of her own since losing a corporate job several years ago, which was actually a blessing. It was a soft exit into my most extraordinary life. She returned to the things that brought her joy, like music. I then met a person who was an instrument maker and decided to, because I wasn't really doing anything else at that time, um, I decided to learn how these instruments were made and, and then here I am now. For each violin, it takes at least 250 hours, months of millimeter by millimeter meticulous work, crafting a chunk of wood into a fine instrument. Every violin has a different voice, just like a person. And as Amanda progressed in the field of luthery, it became apparent she didn't see anyone that looked like her. I just reached out immediately on her DM. I was like, hi, I'm a fiddle player based in Chicago. I, I love who you are in the world. I, I can't believe you exist. And I want you to make me violin. <laughs> it felt really good internally to to get a message from someone like Anne, a, a beautiful soul and a musician who would even consider having an instrument made by someone so new. The two met in person for the first time earlier this year, Anne playing Willow, Amanda's first violin. It was like meeting an old friend. Um, I felt like we've known each other for such a long time and I just feel like she's so special. <laughs> and Anne launched a successful GoFundMe campaign that surpassed its goal, raising more than $19,000 for a commission they believe has never happened before between two black women. I couldn't believe it. When I actually reached my goal, it was very uh, um, emotional because people believed in the story. 
and and the and the power of this story. Amanda will finish the violin this fall and Anne wants to debut it for a new record she's making in Nashville. I think it will feel like when you hand off that violin to Anne. Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> it would be a journey well traveled for sure. She hopes her journey as an instrument maker will inspire others. I am excited about introducing my face into this world for little brown girls and black girls to see, uh, to give plant a seed of interest. It's the impact that it's going to make for the future. And I believe it is my opportunity to give flowers to the individuals who came before me who are not on record because I know that there are individuals who came before me. And Anne is grateful for the possibilities that resonate from a priceless gift crafted with love. It's really a game changer for me on a spiritual level because it was gifted to me by a community that believed in the story and made for me by a sister. And that changes everything. It changes everything. Gaynor Hall, WGN News. Wow, a unique beauty from each one of them tied together by this beautiful bond. And it'll be the gift that keeps giving because as she plays her music, it'll bring joy to so many mm -hmm. others. Yeah, that story demands an update, doesn't it?